So I'm going to be starting off with the chest today and you want to take any sort of makeup pencil or eyeliner and you want to sketch out the basic shape of the beetle. Don't worry about details at this point just yet. I will link all the products in the description box below exactly what I used if you want to go ahead and check them out. But for this I use the NYX Epic Ink Liner. Now I'm taking some water based paints, I'm using the paints by Benai, again I'll list exactly the colours that I use, I'm already starting to go ahead and just paint around the edges of the beetle in a very bold and beautiful sunshine yellow. And then taking a large paintbrush and some green, I'm just going to go ahead and start painting the outer edges of my chest. And while the paintbrush is still wet, I'm just kind of blending the colours into each other so it goes from a gradient green to a yellow. To get a smooth transition between the colours, you want to work quite quickly. Moving to the beetle, I'm taking a sort of cherry deep red and I'm just filling in the small wings. Again, I'm not worrying about any detail just yet, that'll all come later. And then taking some deep brown, I'm just going to fill in the body. And then taking some gold, I'm going to be filling in the wings. I'm now taking some white and I'm using the Cryolon Super Colour for this. I'm starting to create reflections on the red wings. I'm doing the same on the body and head because I'm trying to imitate the texture of the beetle, which is quite smooth. For the body, I was painting in a horizontal direction and this is to create the grooves. And you just want to think about where the raised areas are on the surface and where the light would hit. I'm taking a water-based black and I'm just going to create the arms and legs. I started off by creating just simple, very basic lines and then I went in and added a bit of meat by creating little mini spikes, rounded shapes and also the hooks on the end of his arms as well. Taking the NYX Strictly Vinyl in brown, I'm just going to create lines only on the tops of the wings. I'm then just creating the veiny shapes in the wings. Because this is just nature, this doesn't have to be perfect, it's kind of difficult to go wrong. And I'm also making this so it's not actually symmetrical on each wing. Taking some white, I'm then starting to create the highlights on the wings. So it's literally very simple, it's just thin small lines here and there. Think about where the light's going to hit and think about the texture of the surface as well. The wings on beetles are quite shiny, almost like the texture of a glass bottle. Also try and keep in mind to paint in the direction of the wings, if that makes any sense. And as you can see, I'm basically doing this throughout as well. So that's the head, the horns, the legs and the body as well. Moving on to the shadows, so I'm taking some black, you can also use deep red or brown for this, this would work great as well. You want to go ahead and create some shadows and apply this mainly on the edges of the red areas. This is going to create the illusion that it's realistic, 3D and also will bring it to life. I'm doing kind of the same thing on the wings as well, so I'm just adding shadow on the inner parts of the wings. This is going to create the illusion that the body is above the wings and also give the entire piece some depth. Repeat the same steps on the body now. So you want to apply this on the outer edges of the body, create the illusion that the red wings are in front of it, and also give it more of a rounded illusion. And if you think it needs it, you can take a fine detailed eyeshadow brush and also create some horizontal lines on the body as well, just to exaggerate the grooves. I'd say a massive tip for this step is just don't overdo the shading. It's so easy to put too much eyeshadow on your brush, apply it and realise you've got too much on and you've kind of ruined the illusion. So take your time, apply very little product at a time step by step. When you dip your brush into the eyeshadow, tap off the excess and this really helps. Moving on to the face, so I'm going to take a glue stick and hide those brows. And then taking a red, I'm creating an oval shape on the centre of my forehead. Taking a gold, I'm then creating a frame around it. And this is going to be kind of like a jewel. <laughs> And then on the top of my forehead, I'm just grabbing some green and I'm applying this on the outer edges. And then taking some yellow, I'll be applying this more onto the centre areas. It's exactly the same thing as what you did on your body. Taking some concealer, I'm using some really light concealer because I wanted to create a little bit of drama. But I'm just hiding most of my brows and I've kept the tips only because this is going to help me create the brows in the next few steps. 
taking some foundation you just want to apply this evenly all over just like you would on a normal day and I'm using the MAC Studio Fix for this. For the brows I wanted to create a transition from red to black so I'm starting with the red and I'm applying this to where my real brow begins and then I'm going to grab some black and then apply this to the end of the brows. For the shape of the brows I'm creating them so that they're bigger and heightened than my natural brows and they're a bit more dramatic and almost angry looking. To create the ombre effect you can take a black eyeshadow and a small brush and blend them nicely. Taking some eyeliner, I'm using the NYX Epic Ink Liner. I'm just creating some zigzaggy lines coming from the gem. Try and create the lines so that they are as symmetrical as you can get them. And then for the gold frame, I'm actually creating some circles and this is going to create kind of like pearls. I'm adding white to create shine and reflection on the gem. And then I'm taking some white and I'm creating a triangle more on the centre area of my head. Taking the NYX Born to Glow highlighter, I'm going to create some highlights on my cheekbones, my nose and underneath my brows as well. And don't ask me why I did this now, I really don't know, I just work in the most random orders and it's probably best if you did this last. But there you go. Prime those eyeballs because we're gonna get colourful. So I'm grabbing the NYX Ultimate Brights eyeshadow palette for this and I'm just gonna create a blue cut crease. For the cut crease I'm taking an angled brush and I'm just sketching out the basic shape of it and then I'm gonna take a normal eyeshadow brush and blend it upwards. I'm really packing on the pigment because I want to get a really strong colour. And just like I told you earlier, because I work in the most random orders, again, I decided, you know what, I'm just going to move on to something else and not even finish the eyes. So grabbing some paint, I'm using some black. I'm sort of creating these weird fang things. Honestly, I don't even know what they are. It just kind of looks really beetly to me. <laughs> beetly. I can English. I'm creating the basic shape and the outline, and then I'm going to go ahead and fill them in. These are inspired by the horns from the beetle. I'm then drawing some lines around the fangs to create wrinkles. Taking some white, I'm just lining underneath my eyes. And then taking some eyeliner, I'm creating wings. Create some wings on the inner corners of your eyes. And then line underneath the white line you created earlier. And now you should have some big ass eyeballs. Just to be a bit extra, I'm lining my cut crease I created earlier and I'm slightly blending out the line. And this is just going to create shadow and depth. Now let's focus on the contour areas. Taking some black, I'm creating these dramatic curvy lines. And then I'm going to be painting downwards and fading out the black. And then taking a green face paint, I'm just going to go ahead and pretend that I have a really defined sharp jawline. Ahaha, <laughs> it's fake. And then taking the same yellow, I'm just applying this above the black line I created earlier. I'm continuing the yellow from the forehead. Taking some purple eyeshadow, I'm applying this underneath my eyes. I'm only applying a very teeny tiny bit. And then I decided to add a few more lines going down onto my nose. Honestly, I don't even know what I was doing. It was just some random triangly things, some diamondy things going down. I had the word geometry in my head and tried to kind of imitate that kind of vibe. And then for the zigzaggy areas, I'm creating white lines next to the black lines as well. For the lips, I'm using the Machinist Lip Lacquer in Steam and it's a beautiful deep blue. I'm slightly overlining as I'm applying this. Create some dots coming from the contoured lines we created earlier. Create bigger dots as it goes towards the line and smaller dots as it goes away. And they're not exact circles, they're kind of weird wobbly shapes. Perfect way to describe the shapes of these is they actually remind me of lava lamps. Or, or is that just me? Or maybe they look like cheese graters, who knows. Bouncing back onto the chest, I decided to create some wavy lines on the outer edges of my chest. So I just basically took some black and created the shapes and dots and curves. And then taking a big brush, I kind of blended that out into the green. So it wasn't just 100% black. 
taking some more eyeshadow. I'm just adding some shadow underneath the wings and the body as well. And this is going to create the illusion that the bug is sat on top of my chest. Use a finer eyeshadow brush to make it more intense as it goes towards the bug and use a wider brush and feather it out as it goes away. Apply those eyelashes. Now, unfortunately, I would put them on the bottom of my eyes as well, but I didn't actually have any. To all you ladies and gentlemen who may have a shaved side, you can go ahead and fill that in as well. And I'm doing exactly the same techniques as I did on my forehead and my chest. It's literally just a gradient green to a yellow. And I'm also diffusing the dots onto my head as well. If your ears are gonna be showing, then do paint them as well. Thank you so much if you actually watched the entire video all the way through. I really appreciate that a lot. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up and also let me know what you think in the comments down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you'd love to see much more of this kind of content. And finally, I will see you next time.